Welcome to part two of Nessie the Jellyfish tutorial featuring blanket yarn. We're gonna start off by making the bottom of the head, so go ahead and make a magic ring. And again, just a reminder, keep your tension super loose because we're working with blanket yarn here. And make eight single crochets in the magic ring. All right, and now we can shut it. So pull on the string gently while pinching the last single crochet that you made. Remember to be super gentle here because blanket yarn breaks super easily. And for round two, all we're gonna be doing is placing an increase in each stitch around. So we're gonna have a total of eight increases and end up with 16 stitches. Coming up on the last increase here. And to finish off this round, we are just going to make a slip stitch in the next available stitch. And cut the yarn, leave a pretty long tail. I like to leave around two feet, but the more the merrier here. So leave a long tail and trim it. And now you're going to take your hook and pull the yarn through the last stitch and fasten it off like so and that completes the bottom of the head. Now we're gonna make our first tentacle. So grab the yarn and make a slip knot, like so, and then insert your hook into the loop and we're going to make a chain of about 22. You can make anything between 21 and 28 stitches. So just chain as long as you want the tentacle to be, I think 22 is a pretty good number, but you can experiment with this. Once you have your chain of 20 something stitches, all we're gonna be doing for the tentacle is going back into it and starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to be placing three half double crochets in each of these chain stitches to make the tentacle. So that's the first chain, that's the second chain. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. So again, make a second half double crochet, a third, and now we can move on to the next chain stitch. So in the next one, we are making another three half double crochets. So that's two and three. And now we can move on to the next chain stitch. So just making your way down the chain in every stitch, you're placing three half double crochets. And you'll find the trickiest part about this is kind of holding the blanket yarn itself. It is really thick and chunky, so it can be kind of awkward to hold and get used to your hand placements. But just be patient with it and it will make a super cute jellyfish once you get the hang of it. I'm gonna speed this part up just a touch and I'll meet you back once you've done every single chain stitch in the tentacle. So we're coming up on the last chain stitch here. So you'll find that blanket yarn, you either love it or you hate it. It can be tricky to work with. It can definitely hurt your hands, especially if you have tight tension. But I really hope that you do enjoy making this jellyfish because I love blanket yarn and I hope that you do too. So you can go ahead and cut the yarn once you're done and pull it through. 
And there you have your tentacle. So it kind of looks all funny and all you have to do is twirl it around your fingers to make it look like a spiral. And once you have one, go ahead and make four more. You can also get away with making three tentacles for your jellyfish. Uh, sometimes I make three, sometimes I make five. But for this one, I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like with five tentacles. So make four more and I'll meet you back here. Just like that, we are done all the tentacles. Okay, so take the bottom of your headpiece. Make sure the tail is pulled tight, but definitely don't pull it too tight. You don't wanna break it at this point and have to remake it. So be gentle. And all we're gonna be doing is taking the tentacles and poking the ends through this center piece here. So pick up a tentacle and stick your hook through any of the holes in the bottom of the headpiece. And then take one of the tentacle legs and pull it through. And then in a different hole, pull the other one through, just like this. And then for all five of them, all you're gonna be doing is poking the little strings through the bottom of the headpiece. Make sure they're evenly spaced out. This part is super easy, just make sure it looks nice. Once we have them all pulled through, we're gonna just tie them in knots. So just make sure each of the strings is coming out of a different hole. Now that they're all pulled through, just make sure that you take the tail of the headpiece and move it aside. And make sure the tentacles are spaced out the way you like them. And just take all the little string pieces here and tie them in knots. I like to do a double knot, but you can definitely do as many knots as you want. So I like to take two strings, tie them together, and then when I'm done, I take another string and I tie different strings together. Just make sure they're all super knotted and super secure. And then optional, but I like to trim them all so that they're all relatively short so I don't have to worry about them when I'm sewing, but you definitely don't have to do that. It is quite satisfying though, I must say. <laughs> so just make sure you don't cut your tail piece because we need that to sew this onto the jellyfish head. And now take some of your stuffing that's in your kit and break it apart so that it's kind of fluffy and stuff your jellyfish head. My biggest tip for you is make sure you're really shaping the head out into a circular shape. Don't squish down the fluff too much, but make sure it's quite firmly stuffed. Now we can take our bottom piece and thread your yarn needle with that tail piece. And now place it onto the bottom of the head. And just make sure that all this little string piece ends aren't in your way as you're sewing. So you're kind of gonna have to practice a little bit and move everything out of the way while you're sewing. And then you're gonna put your needle in one piece of the head and then also in the bottom piece of the head. 
So going through every single stitch around the bottom, make sure you are sewing the bottom piece through the head piece. And make sure that you're not catching any of the frills in the way as you're doing this. This can be a little bit tricky because again, blanket yarn is super thick and chunky, so just go slow and be patient with it. So you can add more stuffing if you want to the head if you don't feel like it's stuffed enough as you're sewing. Once you're all done sewing, all you have to do is pop your needle through the bottom of the headpiece and into the back of the head somewhere. And then we're going to weave in our end. So basically all you're doing is weaving the tail end in and out of different stitches in the back of the head, just making sure everything is super secure and it won't come undone. Once you've done that to the tail piece, you can also do that for the tail piece that's coming out of the frills of the head. All you have left to do is trim out those pieces and you are all done your Nessie the jellyfish. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you've learned to love blanket yarn and I really want to hear your feedback. So please comment below, send me a message, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.